So now let's go in and see the structure of each individual lab. So under the lab tab on Moodle, you can see how the labs are structured. Of course, you have the usual uh, beginning uh, top material. So you have to scroll past that. And below that, you will see a series of things. You'll see a lab manual. You will see a Google Calendar for the lab and a lab forum where you can ask questions about the lab and then the labs themselves. Each lab is two weeks long and the lab is presented as a Moodle quiz. And only one quiz needs to be submitted per lab group and Moodle already knows who's in which lab group. So that's already all taken care of. The quiz has the instructions already built in, which we will see in a moment, but they're also shown in their entirety in the lab manual. So if you open the lab manual, it'll take you to the manual for the lab, which contains all of the instructions uh, for the lab as we go, okay? So you can use that to refresh your knowledge on procedures from prior labs as you go forward. Because as I already mentioned, each lab will use the analysis tools and techniques from prior labs, building an analysis chain as you go along. So uh, let's open up the lab and see what it looks like. I'm going to continue a preview. So you can see here you have sort of uh, content. This is the same content as is in the lab manual. As usual, you can either watch the video or read the text, whichever you prefer. It's the same content as in the manual. Like I said, it's just also embedded directly within uh, the Moodle quiz so that you know what you're looking at. And you can see that there are a mix of questions that are computer graded for which you will have uh, multiple attempts and also questions that are going to be graded by your TA. All right, for the questions for which you have multiple attempts, you usually have no loss of credit for each attempt, but there are sometimes situations where I don't want you to just guess, and so there is a slight loss of credit. However, you are not only permitted, but encouraged to ask your TA about these questions as you go along so that you can make sure you get it right. Also throughout, there are checkpoints. So you can see there are places where you are encouraged to reach out and talk to your TA and make sure that you've kind of got things down before moving forward. Since the labs are sort of sequential and you're using your data throughout, right? You don't wanna make a mistake and then have to go back and redo everything. These checkpoints help prevent that. You, you can say, okay, call in your TA and see about using, uh, see if you're on the right track, make sure you're not uh, wildly off base before moving forward. That way you don't have to redo something. You will also notice that the problems are spread out into several pages over the course of the lab. Uh, this is one to make it easier for you to navigate and, and chunk and do into pieces, but also to allow you to save. So how do you save this? Because we're not assuming that you're going to do this in one big chunk, right? You're going to meet twice over two weeks and maybe do a little bit of work outside a lab, maybe not, but you're not going to sit and do this all in one big go. So how do you save your work? Well, the key to saving your work is going to the next page. So clicking this next page button at the bottom is effectively save. So that is your save button. So make sure that you do that before you close out um, Moodle or anything, because otherwise you will lose your work for all of the questions that are on a given page. All right, so for all the questions that are on a page, you will lose it unless you hit next page.